What is a variable speed pool pump? Variable speed pool pumps are kind of a hot button topic and something that you're going to hear a lot about. You're going to hear a lot of polarized opinions. People think they're great or people think they're terrible or you're going to save a lot of money. Hey, you might have heard that you're going to be forced to buy one. So what is a variable speed pump? A variable speed pump is essentially like a dimmer switch for a light. Traditionally speaking, swimming pool pumps were single speed or at best dual speed. So what does that mean? Well, it's basically like having a car that only has one speed, full throttle. That's it. You've either got it off completely or you have your foot to the floor on the gas pedal. That's how a swimming pool pump traditionally operates. But we've changed that and the Department of Energy requires that you get a swim or a variable speed swimming pool pump because they are a vast improvement in terms of how electrically efficient they are and how little energy they use in order to filter your swimming pool compared to the traditional single speed counterparts. So you're wondering, great, variable speed pumps, uh, I get it, I should get one. M maybe I have one, I, I don't really know what I'm looking at. So let's take a look here. So the swimming pool pump that you have is going to be different. There's tons of different ones on the market, but essentially it's going to be something like this, where you've got kind of a chamber there. You might see some water and some pipes and some valves and stuff like that. And then you see some fins down there on the bottom. So this is a variable speed pump. And what's different about this is this control box here. Now, if you had a single speed pool pump, you might have something that looks like this with, you know, you know, some fins. That's actually a heat sink there because variable speed pumps are totally enclosed fan cooled motors as compared to single speed pumps, which actually draw in ambient air and pass it through the motor windings. And that's how the motor stays cool. So you might not have a heat sink, but you would have the same shape on the back here, which is you've got the wet end on the front which you can identify because you can actually see water down through the lid. And then you've kind of got this metal tube on the back and you might even notice you probably have a wire connecting to it somewhere. So that indicates a swimming pool pump, but a variable speed pump will have a drive or a controller of some kind bolted to the top. And when you turn it on, if you had a single speed pump, this is what it would sound like. That's awfully fast and awfully loud, but because this is a variable speed pump, what I just did is I turned down the RPM from 3,450 to only 1,000 RPM. It's still operating, but it's a lot quieter now. It moves a fair amount of water, but it does so for a very small amount of electricity in comparison to how much electricity it uses when that motor is running on maximum speed. And so that's what a variable speed pump is. It's basically like a dimmer switch for a light such that you can control the motor speed from usually a couple hundred RPM all the way up to 3,450. It is a pretty dynamic improvement to residential swimming pools, uh, something that is probably long overdue and something that you're gonna be hearing a lot more about moving forward. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.